Hello guys, I Gary7 here with my Grand Theft Auto 5 online garage tour. So, one of the vehicles was not featured in this, which was the Carbon RS, which I forgot to feature because it was in my other garage. Uh, unfortunately, I did forget about that. But anyway, nonetheless, here's my favorite cars in Grand Theft Auto Online. Spent quite a lot of money on all of them as well. Most of them are pretty much upgraded to level 3 max. Um, also bulletproof tires, all that type of stuff. So to start off, we have the Allegri, which you get for free if you're part of a GTA Online crew. Link to join mine will be in the description below. Um, so, definitely a nice paint job. Uh, the only difference is I might have to change the tires a lot, because I don't really like the look on those. Haven't been in this car for a while though, but definitely love the startup sound. Love everything about this vehicle as well. Definitely one of my favorite vehicles in the game. Uh, moving on, we have the Dinka Jester. This used to be my favorite vehicle in the game, actually. Um, but then I moved on to the Cockette, otherwise known as the Corvette. The Corvette Stingray. Um, so again, this car is definitely another one of my favorites, though. Definitely still has a place in my driving leisure time. Um, but I did change the color scheme, though. And I do love this color scheme the best for it. Definitely, again, amazing car that I do have here. I like, haven't stepped in this one for a while as well, as usually you have been driving these in Toronto. Startup sound, again, pretty nice, and you can see that it's pretty much upgraded to the max maximum uh, capability. Uh, I still need to get level 4, which uh, I haven't gone yet, but uh, level 3 or level 2 is what most of the cars are averaging out to be maxed out at. So right here is the Aston Martin. I did try oh the Dubashi for those of you who don't you know. Um I tried to give this a Le Mans type of race car look. And I definitely do love it. Matte black with a nice spoiler. It also has all those features that a Le Mans car would definitely have. I do love this car as well. You can even see my crew logo right there on the top. For those of you who do know, that is my old logo, um, my old logo on my channel, the 2D version, and as you guys can see here, again, a nice car, nice interior, definitely, again, although I don't drive this car that much, the exhaust sound on it is beautiful for sure, so, again, one of my favorite cars, although I don't, I usually only, usually only use it for races as well, but, uh, other than that, uh, so let's move on to the Sultan. Um, again, if those of you don't know, to get the Sultan RS, you just tune a Sultan, which is what I did. <laughs> so I did get the Sultan RS, which looks like a Mitsubishi Evo, not the new ones, but the old ones. So probably 2005 version. And definitely, again, love this car. In fact, you might even get this in real life, because, well, you know, I don't have the money to afford a BMW or something like that. But you can pretty much see that this is one of the cars I would definitely love to get. Um, Exhaust, pretty much everything about it as well. And right there's a beautiful car. Like honestly, guys, the paint job on that car took <laughs> was amazing. Uh, so moving on, we have the Zen Toronto, which is I think my most used car at the moment. Either that or the cockpit has clocked the most amount of time um, I've been using it. So as you guys can see, fully upgraded, not fully actually. At level three on most parts and I think it has one or two level twos or one level two I don't remember but anyway as you guys can see I do use this mostly for races as well as missions for those quick getaways and all the other type of stuff so again definitely another one of my favorite vehicles that I do have right here uh, moving on now we have my pretty much my real favorite car isn't fast isn't as fast as in Toronto but it has the looks and just the feel, and I just love this car. Definitely my favorite, especially the exhaust sound, the way the paint job, everything about this car, I do love about it. Taking a look at it right here, guys. Again, I think this is the only vehicle to have all high upgrades. I think it's all level three. Three and one level four, I think. I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, right here is the yellow BMW. Don't really like the paint job on it, but although, although I might change it. Have me decide, I might make it a blue or something of that sort. So again, there's my logo again, as you guys can pretty much see. And as we step right inside it, again, a pretty nice vehicle as well. Although I have been thinking of getting this one in real life as well, the um, the old version. Um, as you guys can see, 
definitely one of my favorite cars. Even the horn is pretty nice on it. <laughs> the horn has nothing to do with it. Moving on, we have my favorite muscle car. The exhaust that we have, it even has a muscle car handling type of feel to it as well. Again, another one of my favorite kind of just leisure time, leisure driving type of vehicles that I have right there. Uh, forgot to show you guys around it. The exhaust on it is amazing as well. I'll spell on those tires. Right here though is my four seater car that I use for when I'm with my crew, cruising with friends, or all that other type of stuff. Exhausting is insane. This is the actual S version of the Bravado Buffalo. So it's not the regular one, it's actually the sport version which was 96,000, an extra 30k I believe. Um, but right here, the chameleon guys. Love that matte orange color with the matte highlights on the rim. An amazing vehicle guys, definitely an amazing, I think I've actually forgot to do a tour around it, but anyway, uh, of course you can't really hear anything because it is electric, but amazing vehicle, I'll tell you that guys, for sure. So let's just head into the Corvette, thank you for watching guys, don't forget to leave a like below, don't forget to comment, and I'll see you guys in another GTA video, peace.